two of the program, ladies and gentlemen. Tobin and Leroy here with you on 560 WQAM. As we are finally here, ladies and gentlemen, it is NFL Game Week. Goosey's galore. You're not kidding, Mike. You're not kidding, dude. Let's get to some headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. By the way, Ricky Williams, we will speak to the Dolphins legend coming up at around 1 o'clock today. Ricky will uh, join the show yet again. We'll talk a little Dolphins with him, see what uh, Ricky's up to. See what he's up to. Always a treat. Always a treat. We're going to leave so inspired today. Usually uh, is, you know, on his his porch, you know, Mm. just relaxed, enjoying life. It's always a delight having Ricky Williams on the program. Maybe he can give us insight as to why everybody else in the AFC East wants to upgrade their running back except for us. You know, it's fine. No, it's what do you mean? Like you're you're nervous going into this? Like you're you wanted it because you got teased with too many stars? Like you got Ezekiel Elliott, who I know is gonna be trash, but it's a fun name. It is Alvin Cook. Could have been a homecoming. Could have been a homecoming. He wanted to be here. Jonathan Taylor. Who knows what's even happening with that guy anymore? I'm fascinated to get Ricky's take on the Jonathan Taylor thing. That's, yeah. I mean, that's a that's a that's a crazy one in its own right. But uh, the Dolphins, look, this is a, a rarity that's coming up this weekend for the Dolphins, which is mm-hmm. Week One revenge game. Wow. Yep. Yep. Week one, so you're carrying Week. this over. Then. I'm carrying it over. Let's think about last year. All right. That loss to the Chargers is yeah. still, I think, the most puzzling loss of the season. You know? Really? Yeah, because like you think back, first of all, the Chargers were not playing well going into that game. That's true. Right? And the Dolphins had that whole thing. Oh, we're staying out on the West Coast, and uh, we're gonna have a little stint out there, mm-hmm. and we're gonna practice. And then they lost. They got they, you know, they got off to that hot start against 49ers, and then they got thumped. Yep. They're like, all right. 49ers are good, you know, complete team, whatever. Shake that off. The Dolphins are on a massive win streak going into that game. Mm. Sunday night football. Remember where we were, Jay Fig? We were at a keg south in Kendall. Ooh. Is that so? That's what? where we were. We were watching oh. the game at a keg south in Kendall. We were there. We were gathered. It was going to be a parte, mm. Marcos. Mm. Okay. It was going to be exciting. That's right. No you shot did, the but... Dolphins were going to lose this game. Justin Herbert, he'd been a mm. bum. I mean, he'd been good, but not like the best yeah the whole they were they were searching for themselves a little bit the chargers and and for whatever reason in this dolphins game just got off to the 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 this piss poor start couldn't get anything going the only the only points that they got in that first half remember was that weird ass tyree oh, kill play fumble. the fumble ruski yeah where 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 cheetah got the ball batted to him was it Tervon armstead who batted him the ball i think and so shoo, cheetah took it to the house wow. and so the dolphins were like kind of in it and then they come out of the first half, uh, uh, into the second half. They got that bombski to a cheetah for 60 yards. I'm like, here we go. Rap. Dolphins are winning this game. Yep. But like, they just couldn't get the damn charges off the field in that game. And I think this was probably the game where Josh Boyer, just like, I'm rats off a ship oh, on this guy. Yeah. Jalen Waddle was like going through his little slumski for the ah. first time of the year. It just was puzzling. It was a puzzling loss. They yeah. played a little bit more physical. Dolphins maybe a little bit figured out after after just killing everybody, running them off the field. Because the first time the Dolphins had a slump that year, it was pretty obvious. No Tua. Yep. Tua got hurt. Okay. Makes sense the Dolphins aren't winning. But now the Dolphins weren't winning and they had their full full arsenal out there. It was just a head scratcher. Very, very, very confusing as to what was going on in that game. And so I think week one, revenge game. Yeah, you think they're holding on to this one? What they is? better be. They lost a lot of games. They bet no, I don't care because this was the one. Yeah, like the last, the next week after that, right, was the Bills game. Yep, respectable loss. You know, like the Bills are a good team as much as we make fun of them, right? Yeah. Three point oh, game. Ooh, the sun. They're soft, but you know, <laughs> competitive game. Tip of the cap. You know what the Dolphins do when they lose to the Bills on the road? What's that? Tip of the cap. Hmm. You know when the Bills lose to the Dolphins on the road? Oh, it was the sun. It was this all mm. boo-hoo, Ken Dorsey, you know, like the oh, whole thing. Wow. And, you know, so I don't – that that loss was fine. The Packers' loss, I was very mad at that loss. I mean, I said that to oh, a yeah. ruined person, but I didn't know that he was Christmas, concussed. Dude. I didn't know that he was concussed. Yeah. Only one guy on Twitter knew that he was concussed Holy the entire man. time. One guy on Twitter realized it, and then <laughs> the rest of us – how much you do that. 
What do you mean? Jump to conclusions. No, JP, that's maybe. not fair. Nobody knew that he was concussed. All right. They didn't even go check him to get concussed until yeah. he was uh, doing film with Mike McDaniel after. So I'm not going to take blame for that. Mm. I'm not. Ruin. I don't Christmas care how you're looking at me. I'm not. Do, I'm not taking blame for that. You basically called him the, the Grinch. You did. He I, ru- you did I, I, I didn't know that he was hurt when he was ruining Christmas, yeah. though. Like, how can you know? Well, why not? Blame I'm not a neurologist, Jay Fig. You didn't the blame Rogers. anyone. You didn't blame Aaron Rodgers. You didn't blame any of the Packers. Why would I blame Aaron Rodgers? He didn't ruin Christmas. And, and, I mean, he saved Christmas for his fans. Mm. Hmm. Makes no sense. What a way to twist some words up. To make it kind of convenient right now. Trying to just make it through the game because he loved Christmas so much. I know that dude does love Christmas. But uh, here is Mike McDaniel. This was him speaking to the media yesterday as the Dolphins uh, will have today off. They'll be back on the practice field tomorrow. And uh, we will hear from Tua, of course. Um, But this was Mike McDaniel saying that uh, they're not overly consumed with this game uh, all all offseason against L.A. The, the season in its entirety was motivating enough, um, not just one particular game. I'm sure um, from an individual standpoint, players often um, harbor those individual matchups, those, um, hey, it's man-to-man coverage and I'm covering you and you're running this route, those types of things you develop, um, you kind of have a memory of, and um, but – but overall, as a team, you know, we're we have been focused on the Miami Dolphins for um, every every day since we've gotten back together um, in 2023. And I I'm pretty positive that up until this game and then after this game, most of the guys are going to be focused on the Miami Dolphins as well. So it, to not making more of one individual opponent. Um, it's more about us and how it relates to us. Um, I'm sure there'll be a, a couple, Hey, I'm going to get you this time. You got me last time. That's kind of the, that's kind of the, um, case with all these NFL football games. Okay. But wrong. Okay. Like, I, I don't care that he's going to sit here and say, Oh, the whole season was motivating enough. No, no, no. no. You got to put little, little, little things into every week. Right. Mm. And this needs to be a wrong that is righted by the Miami Dolphins wow. needs to be needs to be. first of all let's not let's let's not sugarcoat it okay all right the marquee on this game is Tua V Herbert I don't care what anybody else hmm. says we could talk about the cornerbacks and the scheme and oh we got fangs and we got Ronaldo Hill now on the defensive staff which is a very weird thing like who leaves a defensive coordinator position to come and be under a defense coordinator, like he must have really hated Brandon Staley. I'm sure he got a raise too, but I'm sure he really hated Brandon Staley. Yeah, like, and I would hate that. his face too. I mean, the guy seems like a bit of a dope, but like, make no mistake about it. Okay. No doubt about it. This is two of V Herbert. All right. Round three mm. rubber match, dude. Okay. Rubber match. Cause we were, we were sitting here fat and sassy last year. Yeah. Tua was on top of the world. We were talking MVP at this point. When this game happened on Sunday night football, we were starting to engrave to his name on that MVP. And then Justin Herbert, he was a dope, a hippie, uh, just a stat boy. Wow. You know, all these things, all this slander. And he outgunned him. He outgunned him. He did. He outgunned him. One of two of his worst games of the season. Just couldn't get on the same Ooh. page with the receivers. His receivers getting out muscled outside of a bombski to Tyree kill. Very pedestrian game from Tua. Very pedestrian. Very pedestrian game. So. Yeah, dude, this is a this, – I don't want to hear, all oh, the, the season was motivated. No. This se- this game, revenge game, right off the bat. We're that's the, the way we got to think about it. So I just realized that. What's that? We were on the road last year. We're on the road again this year. I know. I know. What the hell is up with that? It's not really a road game, though. Like, that's the other thing. Like, oh, okay. road game on the Chargers. They barely have fans. They don't even know where their fans are. San Diego, L.A., where are our fans? <laughs> okay. You okay. know? So, that, like, it's not like you're going to some vaunted environment where it's like, oh, this is going to be super intimidating. But, nah, dude, I don't want to I don't want to hear all everything. No. What needs to be motivating is getting back and figuring out what the hell happened in that, in that game. Because you're running up until that point. You were basically running over everybody. You you were running through and running past everybody. And if it wasn't for Tyreek Hill making it respectable with his Tyreek Hillness, yeah. who knows what that game would have been. So I need the focus to be on revenge and revenge alone, Mike McDaniel. And by the way, wow, they're taking pot shots at you, dude. 
<gasps> they're taking pot shots at you. And I'm not trying to do a little pun there, but like they had okay. Mike McDaniel. Did you do you remember the schedule release this year, Jay Fig? Tell me. They had like a cartoon video then. They had a cartoon That's video right. of Were Mike McDaniel puffing it up, mm. going out there with his with his vape. You Allegedly. Oh uh, no, not to them. Not to them, no. Not to them, dude. Not to them. They had it out there with a puff of smoke coming out there mm. with his little with with his vape pen. And here was Mike McDaniel, of course. The most interesting thing broken down in this entire week is what did he think of that video? Mike, since you opened against the Chargers and since they put out a video in the offseason and since I don't think you've been asked about it, could you what was your reaction to that vaping video? I never Huh? I I I don't I don't know what you speak of. You Oh, the schedule, the schedule release. Um, anyway, a lot of, a lot of creative people doing creative things in, in 2023, which is pretty creative. Mm. He's heated, dude. Okay. He's a heated Mike McDaniel. That was purposeful in that. But, oh, don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the schedule release. Like, how do you know exactly? You what know, you about. know what he's talking about. Yeah. You know, I'm sure we all had a good chuckle over it's Mike. Being Mc- funny. We thought it was, they thought they were going to make a little jokey joke. What do they What did the, did the Dolphins take any shots at Brandon Staley for giving up the playoffs out of nowhere? Look at that. No, no, they did not. Did they make any jokey jokes about blowing a four touchdown lead to the Jaguars? Certainly did not. But these guys want to take little pot shots at the Dolphins mm. and Mike McDaniel allegedly vaping on the sidelines, which he was not. Maybe. I don't appreciate it, dude. I don't appreciate it. I don't think Mike McDaniel should appreciate it. Do we still have of his comments on the vaping on the sidelines? I'm sure I can get it. Do you think the social media is going to the social media team is going to respond with like a they should their own little cartoon? They should. Hmm. They should be. It should be a Brandon Staley learning how to count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Him just going through like. I don't know, like a Miss Rachel or something. I don't know. He's a fingers and toes guy. Apparently he can't figure out math to get into the playoffs or apparently what it is to keep a lead in the playoffs. Yikes. Dummy. Getting ready for week one as they named their captains, by the way. Same captains as last year. Ooh. You got uh, Tua. All right. Armstead. Yep. X, Wilkins, Javon Holland, Cheetah. And now welcome aboard Alec Ingold. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, like it that. was a Landon Roberts. He's no longer with the Dolphins. So he takes the Landon Roberts spot. Everybody else, all the captains remain. Nice. And Tua, he is the true captain. Yeah. Captain of all this. They didn't even QB2, though, yesterday. It was Mike White. Ooh, what? Mike White is the backup quarterback, not Skylar Thompson. That's strange. I know he got a concussion, but anything I saw in preseason was not leaning towards that, I don't think. I thought, yeah, I mean, I think Skylar Thompson basically, the thing that sucks for Skylar Thompson is Skylar Thompson basically had to be Skylar Thompson from last preseason to probably yeah. leapfrog Mike White. But yeah. Mike, even with all that, like, he did that to earn a roster spot last year. Yeah. Now Skylar Thompson's in a spot where it's like, all right, they got this whole emer- emergency QB situation. And if Mike White does, first of all, I hope I never see Mike White. Yeah, I hope I never know. I hope it's a controversy we never know about. Sure. We never have to worry about. We never have to think about because I hope it's just nothing but Tua. Yeah, but if it does become a thing, you know, I don't think it's the thing with the backup QB is I don't feel like the leash is going to be super long unless he's thrown into like a really bad situation. And, you know, then Mike McDaniel will give him like the week to prepare. And then if he goes out there and stinks up the joint, then you go to Skylar Thompson. Yep. You know, it's not like he's going to get this uh, this um, huge amount of rope. But again, I hope I never find out the answer to it. Who cares? I never want to find out if Mike White should be quarterback, could be quarterback, will be quarterback. I just never want to hear it. I just want oh, to. Cares? I don't want to know. I don't care about this battle. Uh, you know, I hopefully he does ba- you know, if we were to ever to be in that case where Mike White gets in at blowout time or yeah, maybe a, a week 18 when they don't need him, I wish him all the best. Local kid. But I hope we never know. I, I really, I genuinely hope he never gets his shot. I hope that two is amazing. That's not a shot at Mike White. It's not a. It's not a slight at Mike White. I just never want to see you do your job. <laughs> okay. I never want to see. I don't. I don't really want to see him succeed because mm. seeing him succeed means that Tua got hurt ah. or really sucked. And I no, neither of those things spell success for the Dolphins. So. I mean this in the nicest of way, Mike White. I hope that you have an entire season of sitting on your ass cheeks. 
Wow. And that's it. I hope your friends don't get to see you play. Yikes. Um, but I hope that like I hope you get all the perks of being a Miami Dolphin, like yeah, best seats at Flanagan's. Oh yeah. At Flanagan's? Yeah, yep, yep, like yep. yeah. But not even do I truly wish Mike there. White success, J Fig? Mm. No, I don't want him ever out there. Ever. Ever. Doesn't he already have some success if he's back up? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I hope that he gets let's, to fulfill his contract and he makes little, the millions of dollars. Nice okay. But I mean, on the field success, I hope he gets none of that. Okay. Wow. But not like because I don't want him to have success. It's just I don't want him to have success. I get what you're saying, but it just sounds. I get bad. it. It yeah. just sounds. I know it's it sounds harsh, but it's not because I'm a I'm a Dolphin sounds fan. A I'm a Tua salty. fan, yeah. and I want to see Tua have success. I don't want to see Mike White have success. I want no good things for Mike White this season. I really want nothing. It's not that I want bad things for Mike White. I want nothing for Mike White. Right. Just make sure that we establish everything before. Right. Just so I can say, I hope Mike White doesn't play well this season because i hope he doesn't play at all <laughs> okay <laughs> really Before if, someone it, if misinterprets I'm, if I'm, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just so you guys aren't misinterpreting what i'm saying mm-hmm. i wish no good play for mike white this season because i wish no play for mike play mike white this season huh. you guys are following this right yeah i mean i am but it just something feels off about it still. yeah i don't i don't, I don't like that you're kind of wishing it. bad on are his you, career no kind of kind of yeah kind of no. yeah <laughs> what if what if the guy during the uh jason taylor foundation you. was like look buddy no offense <laughs> <laughs> no offense but i would have rather had oj mcduffie dude i hope i never well, see like, i would have understood I, but i understood that like why would you want to be with tobin when you can <laughs> be with oj mcduffie so- <laughs> why would you want to be with oj mcduffie and like if you saw if you were a kid and the kid's like OJ yeah. McDuffie, Great. yay, Jalen Phillips, yay, Raheem Mostert. And then the kid's like, oh, I can't wait. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Tyreek Hill? Is it going to be Jalen Waddle? <laughs> Goosies. <laughs> <laughs> the lady can't even pronounce my name. She's so, like, like Brandon yeah. Tobin? So, like, I, I've been in Mike White's shoes, you know? Like, nobody really wanting me there. All right. You know? So, I get it. Me and Mike White, samesies. So, okay. I wish, you know, like, I like I hope, JFig, like, I hope he looks good in a uniform but i wish him no success like i don't mm. want him to be on the it's field just, it's just you saying you don't wish him success yeah. well, why would i wish him a success i don't want him on the field you know like it doesn't make you get it it's, <laughs> it's kind strange. of like oh okay tobin and leroy show but i don't really wish success for jfig and marco something like that that's what kind of what it feels like. I, understand. I don't know i understand like would you want orlando robinson to like be an all-star this season not really, because that's probably something that happened to Bam, right? Like mm-hmm. Bam's our guy. So like yeah, I don't yeah. wish Orlando Robinson that much success for sure. Some success. But I don't want to go up to him and be like, hey buddy, hope I never see you. I see wish you the worst. No, <laughs> no, no, really. Hope. I didn't do that. I'm not wishing him the worst. I'm not really I, I guess I the way I should you. say I'm not wishing him anything, J Fig. I don't want anything to happen to him. <laughs> right. You know? I mean, I was just I was just testing it. Right. I hope that he got his ears checked so he can like listen to the plays while mm. Tua plays football. That's what I want for Mike White. That's a good life, though. Right? Oh, yeah. Backup quarterback. Good living, dude. Mm-hmm. Most like guy in the, the locker room. Yep. Most like guy. He gets to be home. Yep. You know, probably gets to go. Uh, you know, Who knows? Doesn't yeah. take that much hits. Right. He's got the red jersey. In One would hope. Yeah. Doesn't take any hits. Yep. I hope it doesn't get any hits. <laughs> okay. See, now we're now we're leaning towards something a little <laughs> bit more positive there. You know? Yeah. I hope he doesn't take any hits because yeah. I hope that he does nothing <laughs> okay this season i want him to be besides out. cheer for his team i want mike how much white money did we spend on mike? a lot of money and i hope yeah. that he's absolutely useless i hope it's the biggest waste <sighs> of money ever i don't know i mean can we go back to the member you said the fourth quarter blowout things what about that you know let's get back to that because... I mean, like if that happens that happens but yeah. for, for, but for real i hope that it's the biggest waste of money in dolphins history and i'm talking like more than like Danelle ellerby Ooh. I hope that like Mike White is the biggest waste of money Ooh. in the history of the Dolphins, and it's not because I dislike Mike White. It's just I don't want him on the field. All right, he's a Jet. I get it. It's because he's a Jet. No, 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 no. See, you're doing a thing where you're trying to like dig way too deep into this, Meh. and it's, it has nothing more to do with the Soon fact he's that he's going to treat Braxton oh. Barrios just like that. <gasps> no, I Please, love Braxton Barrios. I want Braxton, Braxton Barrios to be amazing. Like. But he is a Jets. Spare our boy. Yeah, but he's a cane. Oh, you know what? True. Also, he wears number 14. 
I, it brings back trauma from number 14 on the defense. I don't know what you guys are see here's the thing I think you guys don't like Mike White because no, you're grass no, 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 oh, all on, I'm, we didn't say I, 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 all I'm saying success. no no you guys are trying to make this a thing that's not a thing all I'm saying is I just don't wish Mike White success because I don't want him to do anything you know what? I think I think day south is right this is mush talk I feel like you should stop saying this while we're ahead why because what if you're just jinxing the whole season how now. am i jinxing it by saying i don't wish him any success i don't want mike white to be on the field the way your words work if he gets on the field i'm gonna root for him but i don't wish for that to happen hmm. you know like for example if you guys are on an airplane right do you wish that you have to use the emergency protocol no but if no. it happens it happens like nobody wants to do it nobody wants to know how to open up that stupid raft or your or your or your life preserver, but you need to know how to. You gotta have it. It's protocol. But I don't. Do I do I wish that we have to use the 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 procedures? Of course not. You I think we should deep board play. You guys are making way. this. See, here's the thing. You guys are making this way deeper than it is. Way just, deeper. Than your it. wishes are just yeah. cloudy. You have cloudy wishes. I don't have cloudy those. wishes. Cloudy wishes. Forecast is clear. I mean, the clear thing is, I want no success. For Mike you White, and I never on want and him to be it, on it the gets field. Good and then it does I it honestly hope he never takes a snap as a Miami snap. Dolphin. What? <laughs> I hope his Dolphins career reads zero, 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 zero. Not because I want Scott. I don't want Scott Thompson to have success either. If I mean, if that makes you feel any better, seems like a practice injury you're wishing for at this point. Nah. <laughs> I mean, like, listen. I mean, hey, listen. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Football season is here, and we've got your <laughs> chance for you to get. A place to listen to our game. <laughs> Do we? Any place, anytime, anywhere, dude. You know? What? And where on? you want to listen to Tobin Leroy is yeah. on the Odyssey app. All of right? Course, yeah. On the Odyssey app, you guys get us on demand. If Mike White wants to listen back to this segment at any point that he wants to, please, no. he can just go listen to the podcast. <laughs> Tobin and Leroy, let's just title today's hour, uh, Marcos, Tobin wishes Mike White no success. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly good. what it's going to be. That's actually a pretty good title. There. <laughs>